Hi, welcome to Bulldog Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be a look inside the Math Facts the Stick series by Kate Snow. Now, these are from the Well Trained Mind Press. They're available in book as well as a downloadable option. I will link all of the details in the description box down below. But first, I'm just going to read a little synopsis that really spoke to me when I discovered these books. The math facts are the building blocks of all the more complicated calculations that children need to learn, such as adding fractions, subtracting decimals, multiplying multi-digit numbers, and long division. When children don't learn the math facts, they struggle with these harder topics because they waste so much time and energy on simple calculations, and that's why it's essential that children learn the math facts by heart. So these math fact that sticks books, the addition, the subtraction, the multiplication, and the division are all fun, engaging guides that help parents teach their children the math facts once and for all without spending hours drilling their kids with flashcards. They are ideal for children 6 to 12, and this series guides parents step by step as they teach their children to understand and memorize the math facts. They include hands-on activities, fun games that children love, and simple practice pages, and they're going to help your child remember their facts for good. We are going to look inside each of these today, but I also want to point out that each one has a different um, kind of time frame. So for the addition facts that stick, you're going to help your child master the addition facts for good in just six weeks. For the subtraction facts that stick, you're going to help your child master subtraction facts for good in just eight weeks. For the multiplication facts that stick, you're going to be helping your child master multiplication facts for good in just 10 weeks. And for the division facts that stick, you're going to be helping your child master the division facts for good again in just 10 weeks. Okay, so we are going to start today with the addition book. Each book has a very similar layout, so I'm probably just going to show you this book in detail and then show you the um, table of contents of the others. So it is broken up into week. Each week you are going to spend um, focusing on one specific area. So here you can see in week one you're focusing on one and two, making pairs pairs that make 10 in week two, sums that are less than 10 in week three, adding nine in week four, adding eight in week five, and looking at the leftovers in week six. Now, she tells you a little introduction. She also gives you um, kind of a how to use this book. But what I really, really like is the simplicity of it. So you can see here, we're talking about week one. Here is week one at a glance. She gives you the strategy that you're going to be using this week, the facts that you're going to be learning this week, and the things that you're going to need. So for instance, for this one, you're going to need the 10 frames, which is in the back of the book, a coin, 15 small counters of two different colors of some kind, and then the practice pages, again, that are in the back of the book. They give you the new teaching on day one. So you're going to spend day one doing the new teaching, and it is going to tell you step by step, show this to your child ask these questions. Here's the answers they should have. Ask these questions. It is verbatim the conversation you should be having. Introduce the plus one facts. Introduce the plus two facts. Adding numbers in any order. And then it's going to give you a game to play. And then you're going to be doing the game and practice pages for days two through five. So you're only teaching a new concept on day one, and then you're going to be playing a game and doing a practice page days two through five. So each day play race to the race to 10 several times. Also have your child complete week one practice page each day. If he or she gets stuck, encourage him to count up from the larger add-in using counters on the 10 frames as needed. Answers to the practice pages can be found on page 126. So the answers are included in here, and she also gives you a, in case they get stuck, this is what you should do type of thing. I'm going to go, in, go ahead and show you back here so you can see the game. So here's the 10 frames. Here's the game boards. Now these pages back here are perforated, so they would easily just tear out. So these are some of the different games that you're going to be playing. And then these are the practice pages. 
So this would be week one, and you can see that's titled at the top to make it easy for you. Practice page two, so it's, it's very easy. Even if you rip these out and it was to fall apart, you're still gonna know what week and what day to be doing all of your practice pages. And then again, like she said, the answers are in the very back. So it is very, very simple. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the table of contents and the subtraction. Again, they're set up the same. So it's gonna be by week. So week one, you're gonna be subtracting one and two. Week two, you're gonna be subtracting three and four. Week three, you're gonna do subtracting neighbor numbers. Week four is subtracting five, six, and seven. Week five is subtracting nine. Week six is subtracting eight. Week seven is subtracting three, four, and five from numbers greater than 10. And week eight is subtracting six and seven from numbers greater than 10. And like I said, you're just gonna be doing that new teaching on day one. And then you're going to be playing the games and doing practice pages. So your practice pages and your games are in the back with your answers, just like the other book. So next we have the multiplication facts. So week one is going to be one and two facts. Week two is your times three facts. Week three is times four facts. Week four is times 10 facts. Week five is times five facts. Week six is times six facts. Week seven is times nine facts. Week eight is times seven facts. And week nine is times eight facts. Week 10 is your review. So this one is a tiny bit different. It does have some teaching each day, but not a lot. You're just showing a few different concepts each day for five days, and you have like a little warm up, but it's all laid out for you exactly what you need to say, everything that you need to do. And then you still have those practice pages and the game boards and the answers in the back of the book. All right, and last we have division facts that stick. So week one, we are dividing by one and two. Week two, dividing by three. Week three, dividing by four. Week four, dividing by five. Week five, dividing by six. Week six, dividing by seven. Week seven, dividing by eight. Week eight, dividing by nine. Week nine, dividing by 10. And week 10 is the review. Now this one is set up very similar to the multiplication in the, that you will be um, doing review and you will be teaching each day. So not a ton but it is laid out for you and you can see like here's day one's new teaching day two through five you have some warm-up games some practice pages and you're going to be doing um, some independent practice that's all within here so your answers all of your practice pages as well as your game boards are all within here now I'm gonna show you one more resource because I found I personally found this resource to be amazing. Kate Snow has these available for free on her website. Whether you're going to use the edition facts this or the facts that stick series or not, these are still available. They're available in addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. I will link them all in the description box down below as well in case you want to try them with your child. They are just printables and you print them out and then you're gonna quiz your child. So the way she has you do it is quiz them from left to right. So you're just going to say, what is one plus one? Your child needs to be able to answer in three seconds or less without repeating the question back to you. So by saying, if I said, what is one plus one? And Emily was to say two, then I would put a check mark. Well, that's the way I did it anyway. Um, if she says one plus one is two, then that's not a check mark. So with permission, I'm going to actually show you just so you can get a better idea of how this would work. 
the one that we did. So we did this at the beginning of April and this is when I knew that we needed some help with our math facts. Um, like I said, you quiz left to right and then you tally your answers in each column. So you can see here that she did um, perfect up until we got to column E and then we had some issues. So that is where she um, lost a lot of what the questions were. So included as an answer key, but what I really, really appreciated was this paper right here. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see it a little bit better. Okay, so you can see here that column E is adding 9 and that that tells me that that corresponds to week 4 within the addition facts that sticks book. So I know that now that I have the addition facts that stick, I need to start in week 4. That is where Emily would place within them. Now, can I go back and do the others to make sure she has a good foundation? Yes, which is probably what I will do. But if you are not sure what math facts your child knows, like actually really knows this is a great place to start you can download these for free you can do these quizzes with your child and then you'll know exactly where they need to be within those facts that sticks book